Okay, first, I want to start off by saying that Lane bought a brand new Tacoma before he proposed to me. <laughs> and I wasn't even mad. I don't know why, but I don't know. Maybe that's when he thought that I was the one. <laughs> met Lane through a mutual friend, um, Jen, who's actually my best friend. Um, she was friends with him at the time. And I actually knew about him before he knew about me. Um, so one day we were in Waikiki and we saw him and his friend from across the street. They just finished bodyboarding. And he um, had really nice abs and no one believes me to this day because <laughs> now he's got a dad bod. But <laughs> I guess my first impression was that he was really cute and had really nice abs. But uh, another night, Jen asked me if I wanted to go out and originally I wasn't gonna go until she told me that Lane was gonna be there. So I was like, oh, okay. That night, nothing super significant happened. Um, we just said hi to each other and yeah, a few weeks later, um, her friend Alyssa awkwardly pulled up her I can't remember if it's MySpace or Facebook back then, but she pulled up a picture and I remembered her from that night. And Alyssa was like, oh, is she cute? Do you think she's cute? And I was like, oh yeah. It's a good day. We got some light we can chase. We can see where it takes us. Writing stories that shape us. It's a good time to find a little magic in the moonlight. All that we can discover. In this sky full of wonder. She opened her big mouth one day because she knew I thought he was cute. And I guess she showed him my picture on Facebook or MySpace, something like that, and asked him what he thought of me. And I guess he said he thought I was cute. And she goes, well, she thinks you're cute too. <laughs> and I guess that's kind of how everything started and we ended up reconnecting after that. I got her number. I really wanted to take it slow. Uh, we also kind of knew, because I was a senior and she was a junior, that I would be leaving for college at the end of the year. So we kind of just waited and to see where things took us. Finally in December, I asked her to officially be my girlfriend. This is really bad, <laughs> but because it was so long ago, over 12 years ago, I actually don't remember our first official first date. So in her defense, it was kind of hard because we were hanging out quite a bit in the first three months, but our official first date was Asagio's. And we were in high school, and I never have that much money, so that was a big deal. Um, I ordered the chicken Alfredo, and our server's name was Kevin, so I remember the first date pretty good. Uh, I was also watching the bill quite closely because I had to make sure what I ordered didn't go over. But I would say that our first date went pretty well because it ended up in a 12-year relationship and two kids later. I started to realize it was kind of serious when we were doing long distance. We were, it was, we were making it work, so we are both busy. I was playing soccer up there. She was finishing up her senior year and still playing soccer down here. But we we're still able to make time for each other, stay connected, stay close. And we didn't really let the mileage or the time zone really affect us too much. Uh, that's when I started to realize, oh, this might be pretty serious. I don't think there was a specific time that I was like, oh, this guy's the one. <laughs> but. I think because we have been together for so long, um, you know, we've been through a lot of good times and a lot of bad times too, but I think what made me realize that he was the one was that every time we went through like a rough patch in our relationship, we always ended up growing stronger as a couple. Uh, we essentially met as kids and we did all of our growing into adults together and it had its challenges, but every hurdle that we overcame, it, instead of pushing it apart, it really brought us closer together. And with every challenge, 
that we overcame it. Essentially it was like, okay, she's the one that I want to spend the rest of my life with. So we've been together for a really long time, so we've had a lot of moments, but I think the one that stands out to me the most is when they became a dad. I thought I loved him then. Oh God, I can't cry. But seeing him become a dad made me fall in love with him even more. Watching her take on the role of a mother really opened my eyes because I was like, you think you love somebody, you've been with them for 12 years, you think you, you, know, you know what love is, but then you see them take on the role of a mother and you see them ch care for them, nurture them, and you know, it brings on a whole nother level of love that I didn't even know existed. And I'm just really thankful that our boys get to see him and have him as an example. And he's just everything that I hope that they'll become one day. Okay, so side note, she gave me a 10 year ultimatum. Um, at around eight and a half, nine years, she was kind of like, you know, she felt like she waited long enough. And I said, okay, bet. And then she got pregnant at like nine and a half years. <laughs> so he was working a lot of overtime and I thought it was for his truck and to buy all these expensive truck parts that he was talking about. But little did I know it was for the ring. Uh, she had scheduled a, a Christmas card photo shoot with Shay. And I had to be sneaky and I had to try to figure out which photographer she was using. And it wasn't easy. But I was able to message Shay on Instagram and she was really good about helping us capture the moment. I guess in, during one of the shots, I was like facing out towards the ocean and she told me to turn around. And when I did, Lane was behind me and he was down on one knee. And honestly, I don't even remember what he said because I was just so shocked. I don't remember what I said because I was super nervous. And I'm not sure if she remembers what I said either. Yeah, the proposal was just more than I could have ever dreamed of. So we joke about being an old married couple already because it's been so long. But I know with the title, it does come with its own set of challenges. I'm excited to call her my wife. I'm excited to see what new challenges we can embrace together. Okay, to be honest, the thing that I'm most excited about is to have the same last name as the kids that I gave birth to. <laughs> um, no, but I'm also excited to finally be able to call him my husband, um, you know, grow old together, raise our kids together, for people to stop asking us when we're gonna get married. I'm excited to watch our family grow as in the boys grow up, not grow as in numbers. I don't want our family to grow in numbers. <laughs> I am okay with two kids. <laughs> and hopefully in the future, I can convince him that baby number three is a good idea. Han, I love you, and I'm excited to spend the rest of my life with you. Lane, I can't wait to finally tie the knot and do this thing. Um, it's been a long time coming but I can't wait to spend forever with you.